Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com. I'm here with um, this Icelandic guy. We've chatted about him before. Vikinger Olafsson. That's him. It's like his name isn't anywhere. Well, it's on the back of the album here. He's doing the Goldberg Variations. Yes, something that he's claimed he's wanted to do for a decade and a half of his short so far life. I, I am really a bit of at a loss uh, the the effort to create a cult of personality out of this guy i mean i'm almost more interested in looking at the pictures than in listening to the music which is not a good thing actually um here he, here he is looking very st normal serious I, I, and he is he's a very fine pianist but then we get the pictures the portrait gallery now this is a theme because he's from iceland and iceland is very volcanic i mean i've been there it's just lava flows, you know, no trees because it was completely deforested back in like Viking days. And so it's just like flat black plains with green mossy fungi and lichen breaking down the lava. Eventually, it's a fascinating place. I loved it there, especially especially um, the part that had the actual geyser. I mean, not a geyser, but the geyser, the one that gave us the word geyser, which is dormant right now. But it, there was a gift shop there that had the widest selection of Pringles potato chips I've ever seen in my entire life. Flavors you've never heard of, but I digress. So here he is, speaking of digressions, in his white outfit against black basalt. It's the white on black and black on white is the theme here. And here he is again, looking somewhat unhappy. I mean, I'm sure he could just like go have a Pringles and he would feel much better. In fact, I feel like I should have some right now. Well, anyway, and then, oh, this is the one. Oh, this is just marvelous. Look at that. I mean, what did they do? Lower him from a helicopter or something and stick him on these gorgeous basalt columns? I mean, I'd rather look at the basalt columns actually also. I don't understand what is the point of this. Is it supposed to make him be like profound and otherworldly? And then we've got the, the hands because he's a pianist, you know, the, the mangled hand photos. Here's one. See his little mangled hands. I can do this. I can do the rest of the review that way. Maybe I can talk about that. Then we've got, oh yeah. Ooh, white on white with the magic long fingers the tentacular appendages that are really good for playing the Goldberg Variation Canons because each finger can move independently. Then we've got this one. Oh, that's a good one. So, so let's, let's, let me do this, the rest of this little video in the style of Mr. Olafsson. Yes, here we are. So there we go. Um, and if you're watching this as a podcast, I'm sorry, you're going to miss some of the most wonderful visuals that, that I've ever, ever attempted, believe me. So here we are, the Goldberg Variations. Yes, an iconic work. He has amazing technique. He plays it very well. He really does. But this is sort of a helter-skelter performance of the Goldberg Variations because, you know, it's either sort of very, very fast or very, very slow. The opening aria... Um, has some really kind of amazing, beautiful touch, you know, but it's also, it's about four minutes. Okay, people take about four minutes. And then he just rips into the thing. I mean, unbelievably, he just, just, just does stuff with it. And really quickly, I mean, just blows through the first batch of variations. And after that, I mean, after that, some of the variations are, you know, kind of normal. And some of them are like a little bit wacky. I was particularly put off by number 25, I think it is, isn't it? I mean, isn't it number 25, do they have it here? Of course not. There's, there was a, there's a track listing in here somewhere. Uh, number 25, where was it? I know I saw it. I thought I saw it. I could be completely wrong. I might have just gotten just, ah, yes, there we go. I knew there was something like that here. The 32, Aria da Capo. Yeah, exactly. 20, well, track 26, variation 25. You know, that's the slow one, the really slow, dark one. He takes almost, it's like 10 minutes, nine minutes and 48 seconds. Has it ever gone slower? It's interminable, absolutely interminable. It's ridiculous. Absolutely crazy, kooky, wacky, wacky, nutty, ridiculous. 
And and uh, otherwise, um, what do you make of something like that? I, it, for me, it, it just about busted the performance. It really did. Because uh, you're getting to that point and there's this you know increase of brilliance and then this marvelous moment where the music steps back and 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 just dwells on sadness but i you don't want to dwell on it endlessly i mean it's it's you get toward the end of the piece it's got to move and after that you've got that big build up to the final quote lebet which here was i thought rather perfunctory oh wait wait and there's the back cover i can do that i'm sorry i don't have i don't have the long tentacular appendages that he has but it really is it really is a little problematic and as a production I, I find these these releases to be kind of irritating I mean you wish that they would focus less on him and more on the music and this is a kind of a performance that I guess really draws attention to him rather than realizing Bach's music in the most positive possible way. I, I love the Goldberg Variations on piano. Um, I have several reference recordings on piano. Of course, there's Glenn Gould. Glenn Gould's amazing, of course, both of his recordings. Murray Pariah, for those who want more pianistic normalcy. It's absolutely marvelous. I mean, and, and a bunch of, you know, modern, recent pianists have done it very, very well. It, it, it's they're they're trying to create specialness and differentiate this guy by photography rather than by the musical interest. I mean, there is musical interest here. There is. Uh, it's 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 brilliant piano playing. It really is. But as a unity, as a whole conception of the Goldberg Variations, I think there are many other versions on the piano that are that are um, a lot more powerful and persuasive. And I really think that that. 25th variation is kind of obnoxious. It really is. It, 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 it's completely narcissistic and self-regarding. Well, that's what something that since that's a tautology, isn't it? It's completely narcissistic and not terrible. It's not terrible. I mean, it could be better, but it's, it's very good. I mean, his fans, of course, will want it because they want everything that he does. And I think that, you know, there you have it. It's just not as great as I would hope, and certainly not as great as the photography makes him out to be. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.